All right, so we're both recording here. We're being a dick to him. <laughs> hey guys, so here again with Eric. First time fishing with him in a little bit. Uh, eating our bacon, egg, and cheese here and his pork roll, egg, and cheese. He can say Taylor, Taylor I don't Ham. care. Taylor pork Ham. roll. It's pork don't, roll. Don't you hear anything from him. It's Taylor pork Ham. roll, but we're gonna be hitting Swartzwood up today. Uh, see if we can catch anything. Hope it's a nice video. Look at this guy eating his sandwich on the boat. His pork roll, egg, and cheese. Taylor Ham. Pork roll. I'm not letting you get off my boat. <laughs> eating his freaking pork roll on his little pedal. All right, we're here at Swartzwood, guys. We just heard that some of the bass are spawning, so we're gonna see how this goes. Fishing with my finger like this is gonna be a pain. Just had it literally drained of an infection, so hope they can tie my knots today and be able to pull some nice ones in. Let's hope for the best. There he is. Got one? Eric's hooked up with the fish. Pulling drag, so. <laughs> He likes catching a lot of rocks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it goes with a mountain lake. What the hell is this? Do I have a tree here? What the hell? What? Oh, crap. I had no idea that was even on. I had no idea I had this fish even on, guys. So, first fish of the day, but. I had no idea this was even on. I was just reeling it in and I'm like, oh, there's a fish there, so. It's an appropriate size bass. Yeah, here. it's, yeah, you know, pretty, pretty nice bass, I guess you can say. It's gonna be the trophy of the day. Oh, so. I think that bass is about par to John's skill level, so yeah, it's a nice fish. <laughs> I'm all about four inches. But here's the nice thing about this fish, which is really cool. When you see little guys like these, you know they're doing well in here because they're spawning. So even though it's not the fish I want, you know, it's the fish that, you know, that lets you know the lake's doing well. So, let this guy get back and hopefully becomes a nice five pounder someday. So guys, so far tying knots with the finger like this isn't as bad as I thought. Been doing it just like normal, so let's see how the day goes. So Eric's gonna tell you guys what we're doing today. Yeah, well we got a pretty bluebird day out right now and I'm just working this first bank. Not much wind going on, so I was telling Jonathan it's probably just gonna be in our best advantage to pick up these four inch sankos, tried and true, on some light line and just work the break lines. You know, we're not really gonna go for any fish on beds today. We're gonna be looking more for those pre-spawners and post-spawners. We'll see what happens. I got one. Small one. That's a large mouth, I think. All right, so nothing special again, guys. Again, another fish another... appropriate to John's skill level. Ah. <laughs> Getting these little small guys right there. Not exactly what I'm looking for here, but you know, fish is a fish. Fish is a fish, guys. A fish is a fish. That's you, you know that when he's saying that, he's catching small ones. A fish is a fish. All uh, right, back in the water he goes. Oh, he's a number. So Eric just hooked up with his first he's actual bass, bass of the day. Yeah. This was about the size of the one that was on the other bed, but we spooked him. And then I saw this one on the very next bed I found, so I stayed far back from him. You know, didn't spook him at all. And I threw the tube in there. Wasn't really reacting to the tube but I knew that he was locked on, wasn't moving, threw the Sanko in there, made one cast and got this one. Is that a bait caster rod on a... Looks like a bait caster rod with a spinning reel. How much you pay for that rod, like 80? 100? I got one, nice one, nice fish. Small mouth, dude. I told you there's big smallies around here. I was just telling John about how I caught a big one here with Johnny. Nice fish. Yeah, that's a big smallie. Oh, he's hooked well. Oh, dude. Big oh, smallmouth. big smallmouth, guys. Yeah. Oh, let me get that fish. Use my other hand. Oh, show that to the camera what nice I just smallie, caught, guys. John. Oh, this is. Did you get him on the Sanko or the tube? I got him on the Sanko. Awesome stuff. Oh man, that's nice. That's yeah, that's I what I came here for. Probably two and a half pound smallmouth right there, two and three quarters. That's a really good fish. We were just fishing this shallow area where I know a lot of good smallmouth like the bed because I caught a good one here with Johnny last spring, and that's a nice, nice yeah. smallie, John. That's probably two and three quarters, maybe pushing three. He's peeing on me awesome too. Awesome fish. Let's get him back. Hopefully, yeah. catch some more nice ones. I'm saying this is at least a three here. All right, so guys, we've been fishing for about maybe three hours here so far. And not too much luck, couple rock rock bass, 
he had one nice large mouth, and then today I just pulled out maybe about five minutes ago this nice small mouth right here. Caught him on the nice Senko, four inch. Uh, it's nice to find him getting in some fish. We'll let this guy go and let him get back in the water. Good one, dude. You got one? Oh. Dang, man. That wasn't a big fish. It was, yeah, it was like a three pounder. No. Three -pounder. That thing jumped out. That was like a pound. Nah, that wasn't a pounder. That was a rock bass. It was small. That was either a rock bass or a small mouth. You're blind. That was like a nice small one. That was not big. I, what are you talking about? I saw I, it. That did not look big to me. That was a nice fish. <laughs> Whatever keeps your, your head high. I mean, I got it on video. I got the proof. <laughs> I got the no, That wasn't a small fish. Dude, I've been catching small rocks. When he jumped out, he looked that big. I got one. Dude, that's a little rock there. Dude, no, the thing is. That's was, what you just caught, though. What? They look the same small mouth. Dude, that's the thing. Like, dude, that was weird. Like, he ha I think he had me, like, wrapped on something. I don't know. All right, guys, it's a really small rock bass. I don't really care about this fish, but you know, it's so nice to catch a fish here. Got one. Yeah. So another one of these little guys here, you know, nothing big. And as soon as I say that, look at this dude right here. That is what, a small mouth? Keep him away from the motor. There you go. Oh, he's really pulling. This is about the size of the smallmouth that I lost. So a little bit of redemption right here. Another one that fell for the Senko. Yeah, see that's about the size of the one I lost. Last hour to catch a fish. He's looking for the big one of the day. So far we've landed one big one in the boat, but we aren't yeah. satisfied yet. Yeah, I mean, if we could get one more big largemouth on this bank, I was telling John, this is one of my favorite banks on here. I fished this reservoir, or this lake, excuse me, for many years. So I know a lot of spots on here, but this one spot always seems to produce good largemouth for me. We're gonna hit it hard. We'll see if we can get any more. Got <laughs> I lost him, dude. Really? Baby, come back! No there, way. There you go. Oh, it's not big. It's not big. I thought he was a big one, guys. We've been searching for one more good fish at the end of the day here. And I lost a nice one on a tube just a couple minutes. Oh, it's a smallmouth. But yeah, I mean, that's a keeper smallie, right? Very end of the day, keeper smallmouth on a Senko. That was my last four inch Senko. Guess it went to good use. We got Captain Highwaters right now, trying to get the boat back in. Look at those squats. <laughs> Look at that. Great separation between legs. Yo, I was kind of hoping you fell in. Could have been great. I was recording you. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a blooper today. There will be no BFJ bloopers today. <laughs> freaking the lynx cat walking across the freaking <laughs> trailer.